The Solar Energy Innovation Network, or SIGN, is a place where we bring together multiple stakeholders to solve these challenges and barriers in solar adoption. So really just bringing together um, different stakeholders to help provide uh, uh, insights on how they can better adopt solar in their communities. Just to be able to hear how people are thinking things through, it's kind of like a think tank, you know, where we're coming together, where people are having different perspectives and views. And for me, I find that so valuable to be able to be in a place to see how people are navigating their own projects. I think for small organizations that are getting started or are you know, working on hard to solve problems, having the Department of Energy and NREL support you is so massive. It's so hard to put into words how valuable that is. These are challenges all over the country, and it's great to see that other organizations are facing some of these same challenges. Um, and being able to rely on camaraderie and conversation and shared interests with other folks and learn what they're doing. Our program's goal is to um, tra train people in the community to uh, have conversations uh, with, with homeowners um, and eventually renters about solar and renewable energy. What success looks like for uh, this project is one, we're educating people on solar. Two, we've been able to successfully stand up resilient centers for people that's been displaced, who potentially can be displaced during a disaster. And three, see how we're able to then implement uh, this technology on residential homes that's throughout the area. Our West Side communities, which is the community that we're focusing on, is historically been disadvantaged and out-resourced. We want to be able to have a tangible pathway for people on our West Side communities that are business owners to be able to have finance options to be able to adopt solar and storage. The three neighborhoods that we're targeting live and reside within the poor zip code in the state of Florida. So when you look at the energy burden, where they're spending upwards of 60% of their income on utilities, a lot of times these residents are dictated to after policies have been made. So we want to make sure that these residents had a chance to help shape those policies. Our, our people in a, in a lot of ways have uh, are in a hole that's been dug for them. And it's, it's a matter of filling in that hole through investment, through engagement, through the work that's on the ground work that really understands what, it need, like what models are needed to make sure that these people can even just stand on, on solid ground. And I think it's good being able to put solar panels on homes, but how do we actually create sustainable business models in these underrepresented communities? Those are the things that I think are absolutely critical when you start talking about uh, this technology and the future of it. These communities are um, prime for this kind of project to actually explore what it looks like, what learn, right? What, what energy um, efficiency is, what is a um, energy burden? Do you even understand those things? And then next, solar, how does it benefit, right? And what can it do now? And what generationally will those effects be? And what I think is so beautiful is just what I've already started to see in our engagement with our community members. These business owners, you know, most of them have a, a personal vested interest in this project. They want to do great things for their business, but they also want to be able to contribute to an overall, you know, vision and mission to be able to make our communities more environmentally aware and, and understand the opportunities that they can take advantage of. Especially with Innovation Network, what's so unique about it is that it's not just NREL or DOE is providing funding, it's no, we're collaborating, we're a partnership with these communities and with these teams. It's not just, here's the money, you go figure it out. It's like, no, let's do this together. What's happening here is historic. Having conversations like this and bringing the groups together who are working on the, the real challenges on the ground and figuring out how to solve them because this is where if we solve these problems then it opens the door to really accelerate you know, equitable clean energy uh, as quickly as possible.